Hey, Nathaniel from Promax. Just want to walk you through an example of where we uh, moved a client from Exan to platform and actually reused some of that fiber channel storage that, that they already owned. Uh, a lot of times, very common, you've upgraded your storage, you've added 50, 100 terabytes, whatever that is, uh, but you don't want to just throw that out if it's still fairly new, very usable storage. So how do you move this data? How do you move that and reuse that storage? Here's exactly how. Uh, so with this particular customer, uh, what we did is we we always want to set start with the platform and the XSAN both set up simultaneously. Now, your XSAN runs over fiber channel, as you can see here. Uh, we've got fiber channel connected, the metadata network connected. Leave that connected to a workstation, and that's this whole setup right here. Uh, now, simultaneously over Ethernet, uh, we had here, we had one gig ethernet going to a switch and then 10 gig ethernet going down to the platform. We want to have both of those set up simultaneously. Step two is going to be transferring that data. So step two here, let me jump in. We're gonna transfer that data through those workstations over to the platform. It's important to move all of that data first. Now the bigger pipe you have here, the better, right? Um, so once that data is transferred, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna throw out that old X serve raid. That's what we did here, we just threw it out. It was an old 10 year old hunk of something. Uh, but you can get rid of the metadata controller, repurpose it, whatever you wanna do with that. You don't need the metadata controller anymore. The next step that you want to do is you wanna actually move a fiber channel HBA, which you probably have quite a few of these. You wanna put one of those into your platform server. Uh, once that HBA is in your platform server, then you can go ahead and connect that existing fiber channel storage to your platform. We're then going to reformat that fiber channel storage so it's part of your platform network, and boom, you're done. So uh, depending on how much storage you have, depending on your connections, this could take a day, this could take a couple days just for data to transfer over. The good thing is you can actually use the system, work on it while this is happening. Uh, this is just a data transfer as, as is any. Uh, but then uh, once you've got this all set up, now you've repurposed your fiber channel RAID and you're ready to use that as part of your new platform network. All right. I hope this was helpful. Thanks.